Well, for people living on Dauphin Island and with Delta looming out there in the Caribbean, it might be here we go again with Sally still fresh on their minds. Fox 10 News meteorologist Matt Barentine live from the island with a reaction. And Matt, tell us what those folks are saying. Well, the residents I spoke to today just aren't happy about it at all. Of course, they are still cleaning up from Sally. Now they have to watch and wait to see what Delta will do. It's unbelievable. Gotten to be a little too much. Minnesotan snowbird Steve Amick had his trailer badly damaged by Sally. Now as Delta threatens, he is not messing around. He's hitching up and moving out. We've never went through a hurricane before. Like I said, we went through this last one was that's enough. <laughs> we don't know what to tell the renters that are coming in this weekend, and we don't know what to tell the renters that are currently here. Andy Sims with Dolphin Island Real Estate says, as with Sally, they are trying to determine how to keep their clients safe. We have to monitor it. We have to stay on top of it because we do not like having people down here. We are the first, we were one of the first companies that will tell people to either stay home, we'll let you know when you can come, or for our current renters to please leave. God, I hope it don't come in. At the Dolphin Island Campground, Gary Collier has been very busy cleaning up after Sally, and the business is still closed. Hopefully it'll just stay out in the Gulf and feels a lot, I hope, <laughs> but it don't look that way. Yeah, it doesn't look that way, as Jason was saying. It likely, hopefully, weaken as it gets to the northern Gulf, but not likely to completely fizzle out. So folks here on Dolphin Island are going to have to anxiously wait, watch, and prepare for the yet another possibility of a storm here in 2020. Reporting live on Dolphin Island, Fox News meteorologist Matt Barentine.